Hello and welcome. My name is Sahan Chalabi and I'm a solutions engineer for Cisco Secure Connect. In this video, we're going to be reviewing onboarding your brownfield sites when they're operating as a spoke. So to get started, I wanted to talk about the pre and post migration effects. This video assumes that the device that you're attaching is currently operating as VPN type spoke. When connected to Secure Connect, it will continue to participate in the SD-WAN fabric as a spoke. Two additional hub connections are going to be added, which will correspond to the data center locations of the region that you've selected. And these two hubs are going to be added with the highest priority. In terms of routing, a default route is propagated automatically, as well as any other routes which have been learned by Secure Connect. In terms of the topology, this is what things are going to look like. We have our London branch over here, which is currently operating as a spoke with a connection to the Chicago hub. And we can see in the route table below that I have reachability to the routes that the Chicago hub is advertising. Post migration, we'll see a connection to the Chicago hub as well as an additional connection to Secure Connect. So let's see what this looks like in the configuration. So I'm currently on the Secure Connect sites page where I'm being prompted to connect my Meraki network. So I'll go ahead and select that. I'll grab the London branch that I'm looking to onboard and then assign it to the Europe one region corresponds to the London and Frankfurt data center pairing. Then I'm going to scroll down, go to next, finish and save. And then it should take about a minute or so for my site to be attached to Secure Connect. Perfect, so I can see my site has now been onboarded and the London branch shows up at the list at the bottom. I can select somewhere in the white space to reveal the slider window, which gives me hyperlinks to the appliance status page or the site to site VPN page, as well as the remote route section that shows us the default route has been enabled and the region it's connected to as well as the health of how it's operating. So I'm gonna come back over here to the site to site VPN page, give it a refresh, and we can now see that the Secure Connect data centers for London and Frankfurt are now listed at the top. I wanted to spend a few minutes to talk about routing. We had in our previous topology, the London branch connected to the Chicago hub. And when we did this, the Chicago hub advertised the 128 network down to the London spoke. As a result, the London spoke then installed a route into its route table, letting us know if we wanted to reach that 128 network, we would take the VPN tunnel directly to the Chicago hub. We then connected our site into Secure Connect, which propagated a default route, which was then installed into the route table. So now any internet bound traffic is going to go directly through to Secure Connect. Now, you may then reach a point where you want to connect your Chicago hub into the cloud service. And when you do this, the 128 network is going to be advertised to Secure Connect, which is then further propagated down to any other sites connected to Secure Connect as well. Since the London branch has now learnt about the 128 network through two different paths, the tiebreaker becomes which hub is listed higher in the dashboard configuration. As of right now, the Secure Connect data centers are listed at the top, so this route becomes active, and we'll start to see all of that traffic go directly to Secure Connect first. If we wanted to change this so that traffic would go directly to the Chicago hub, we simply need to change around the priority and list the Chicago hub at the top. And then as a result, we'll start to see that traffic go directly to the Chicago hub rather than being relayed through Secure Connect. Let's see what this looks like in the configuration. So to do this on the London branches site to site VPN page, I'm simply going to drag the Chicago hub to the top of the list and hit save. Some final comments I wanted to make revolving around the IPv4 default route checkbox option in the dashboard. If you do have this option enabled, the way that this route is installed is treated as though it has a lower administrative distance than routes which are simply propagated through the SD-WAN fabric. As a result, this route is installed with the highest priority and internet bound traffic as well as traffic destined to its subnets are going to be forwarded directly to the Chicago hub, completely bypassing Secure Connects. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for joining and all the best. Take care.